Welcome back. Americans' faith in large corporations are declining. More people are tuning to a small businesses and products made right here in America. Fox Business's Grady Trimble joins us live from a shop that sells American-made boots in Austin, Texas. Grady. Handmade right here in this very workshop, Maria. You can see the uh, beginnings of the process here where they take custom measurements of the customer's feet. This is called a last. This is inside the boot while they're hand sewing and working the leather. And you can see all of the famous people who have gotten boots made at this shop, Texas Traditions, which has been around for almost 50 years. This last was for Ar Arnold Palmer, Willie Nelson, Daryl Hall, Tommy Lee Jones, the list goes on and on. And the mastermind behind these boots was trained under a man known as the Michelangelo of bootmaking, Charlie Dunn. And you apprenticed with, uh, with Charlie, and now you've taken over the tradition here. Uh, Lee Miller, tell us about the shop and uh, what goes into hand-making all of these boots. Well, um, you know, we measure people's feet, and they tell us what kind of boots that they want. And this is an example of a pair of boots that I'm making right now. Uh, we make all kinds of boots, fancy, plain. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it's just, but the main thing is they, they fit your feet. And that's the, the most difficult part of making handmade boots is that. Your backlog right now is five years. You've seen a resurgence, partly because of the, the boots are trendy again, I guess. Uh, but there's a lot of support for small businesses right now. A survey from Gallup found that 65% of Americans have faith and confidence in small businesses, not so much for big businesses. So what's the draw for people who come to you to get handmade boots? Um, I think because they know the person, and it, you know, it, it, it really is. It's um, the, they feel that you know they they see what you do. It's the more the the individual contact. Um, it's the trust. But uh, I think those are the things that make people do business with small businesses. Is that one on one? Um, it, you know, there's really not many layers. To go. There's no separation between the customer and the business owner. And Maria, I just want to show you another person who has a lot of boots from Texas traditions. This belongs to singer-songwriter Lyle Lovett. Actually, a bunch of these boots on the shelf here belong to him as well. The boots will cost you a pretty penny, about $3,500 to start. And then as it gets more intricate, the price goes up, could be up to $10,000. But that's what you pay for when you want quality boots here in Texas. Maria? I love it, Grady. That is wonderful. Thank you so much for bringing us inside of the store. Grady Trimble joining us. Uh, I actually did get boots made myself and from another boot maker. Uh, right near the border with Mexico was uh, in Nogales, Arizona, and this great shop. And I saw exactly how they do it the way Grady was just showing us. That is just terrific to see this kind of um, workmanship in America, Joe. Yeah, I, I want to support American workers and American craftsmen. And, and I got to be honest, I, I think the minute my foot went into that that beautiful boot, uh, the swagger that I would, you know, just 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 <laughs> convey the rest of the day, uh, and the attitude I would have uh, to to my fellow Americans would be fantastic. Probably worth the thirty five hundred bucks to feel that way every day. Well, you can see the pride uh, in the uh, manager or the owner's uh, work there as he's making those boots. It, it, it's very personal, Rebecca. Maria, it makes me want to have a hot dog, apple pie, and watch a baseball game. It's just total <laughs> Americana. I absolutely love it. And in, it just let's just s s call a spade a spade. The reason the American public is happy and lo you know comfortable with small businesses, locally sourced, they know the people, they can talk to people, corporations, everything's coming from China. We don't know the chemicals. We don't know what's happening. And it's just here it is, and there you go, you. and have a nice life. So let's get back to small businesses. We know the small businesses and the medium-sized businesses are the drivers of all of these jobs that we've got in June, most of them. And um, so, yeah, small businesses are where it's at. And, and I love yeah. to be a part of it. Well, there's also issues uh, around supply chains, right? Uh, yeah. When we are talking about things made overseas. Yeah, absolutely. Of course. I mean, we, we have a lot of problems with supply chains. But, you know, what are they putting in the things? Is, you know, we just don't have a lot of clear safety. And then obviously our border, border is so porous, like we just talked about, yeah. you know, that we, we, we want to have local, local source. Like if you go eat, Maria, don't you want to know, hey, this was just picked upstate New York yesterday. I mean, that's the kind of thing yeah. that people are looking for. Joe and Rebecca, stay right there. The next hour of Mornings with Maria begins right now.